Hello and welcome. This is Darius Barasande, host of the U.S. Revolution. And if you're about to watch this amazing session that we did, then you're part of a group of humans on this planet who are ascending and moving into a higher frequency. You're not here by accident, and I'd like to offer you a special gift that will help you to adjust to some of these frequencies, plug in even deeper, and it's an energy activation MP3 that will double the power of your energy field in less than 57 seconds. It's absolutely free, and it's the first link in the description down below, but it's also gonna let you get to hear calls like this one live and get daily help from healers, teachers, and masters all over the world. It's absolutely free, and it's part of what we're doing every day at UAuth Revolution. So if you feel called in your heart, you can click the link down below, and the special session that you wanted to watch and experience will start right now. Yeah, and when I hear sound, I think of frequency. Like, mm -hmm. oh, frequency. Well, yeah, frequency can do a lot of good. It can do a lot of harm if it's not in tune or in resonance with our truth. Um, the gut. We're going to go into that. A lot of people might say, what does the gut have to do with frequency or energy? There's a lot of pieces of it. Each of our organs resonate at a particular frequency. So one of the things that we'll be working on is getting them tuned back up to their frequency of health. When they are at the frequency of health, then there is no illness. There isn't possibly any problems there. So that's just one way that we can work with our body is through frequency. And most people don't really understand that color is a frequency. Light has a frequency just like sound does. So there's many, many things that you can do, uh, it, just even in terms of, of your colors. Like, did you ever wonder why when you wake up in the morning you're like, ooh, I think I'll wear green today, or I think I'll wear blue today? That might be your body talking to you. Yes. Interesting. I want to share three things that I took away from the last time you were on. And we're going to open up some new doorways here, and then we're going to jump in to help you. But the first one I want to talk about that blew me away, never knew this, never saw this anywhere, I've studied health, you know, my, in my own time and my own desire. 95% of our serotonin receptors are found in our gut. And I know what serotonin is. For people that don't know, what is serotonin, why is it important, and what can happen if we're not actually uptaking that? Serotonin is your mood regulator and social behavior and sleep and memory and sexual desire. So serotonin is especially known for things like depression and anxiety, uh, regulating that mood. So if you think about it, if that's being regulated in the gut and you're constipated or you're having gut lining issues and leaky gut and things like that, it's going to affect your mood. Interesting. What causes um, that serotonin to not be uptaken in the gut? Well, what it will do is it's actually found in the gut and produced there, and then it's sent to different parts of the body and sent to the brain. And when you have something like a leaky gut, oh. it will actually send toxins to the brain rather than what it's supposed to, and that will cause some low-grade inflammation in the brain. And once you have, and it can send low-grade inflammation in a lot of places, but once you have low-grade inflammation in the brain, it depends on what part of the brain then has inflammation, which will determine what your symptom is. Is it you feel like you're kind of foggy, and or your memory's not working, or your mood has gone south, or what what parts of your world will change based off of that. That's why you'll see some articles these days where they talk about the bacteria in your gut actually can change your mood or change the way you act or whether you can even find a relationship. All of that can be determined by different things going on in the gut. Interesting. We're going to be talking about how to release that. Also, this was interesting because the gut, you said, actually – produces 30 other neurotransmitters that don't just make us feel good, but they actually do what, Lynn? They, 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 they are like messengers of something? They're the chemical messengers that fire nerves, tell nerves what to do, tell muscles to move or don't move. So sometimes we have achy muscles or joints that don't want to work correctly. It could be because these neurotransmitters are not going the right direction. They're, not, um, they're being misfired, overfired, underfired and it will make your joints hurt, it will make cause inflammation, or just have muscles that just are sore and don't want to move, or it can even cause different organ issues. Where, just look at it as like the traffic cops. This is what's saying, 
whether this signal can go to this particular place now or not. And so if you get the signal at the wrong time or too much or too little of the signal, it won't allow that muscle or that organ to function properly. Interesting. We're going to dig in with folks and see what may be going on. And I want to also talk about the energetics behind all of this because what actually could cause this is a big question, and we're going to get into that. The last one that I was kind of blown away by, although there were many, was the also the fact that our, our microbiomes in the gut actually talk to the nervous system through pathways, and this can in some ways affect the immune system. Tell me about that because there's a lot of folks dealing with oftentimes um, autoimmune issues, and uh, while we're not giving medical advice, treatment, or guidance, Energetically, this stuff is all connected. Yeah, when it talks to the immune system, then the immune system can either go into hyperdrive, where it thinks it has something that it's constantly having to fight, or it can be suppressed. And you can have issues in either way, but there's all these different pathways that everything starts in the gut. You have a thing called Peyer's patches and it's this lymph tissue that's inside the gut, inside the lining of your large intestine. And if that is not functioning properly, it's, that's the basis of your immune system for the body. And so again, it's not sending the correct signals out or it's misfiring signals, which is gonna create different kinds of problems throughout the body, especially autoimmune. How does energy play into this? Because it sounds like we're talking about very specific biological processes, very scientific stuff. But then you're an energy healer. You're the body channel. How did it? How, how does it connect to that? You know, it, to me, it's a really interesting process. So to give you an example, you could have an issue where, let's say, when you were a child, you were in somewhat of an abusive situation, and let's okay. say you kind of had a rageaholic for a parent very common story that I hear. And at some point, you decided that you were afraid or you never wanted to be yelled at again or, or, or be in a situation like that. And when that thought, feeling, or emotion or kind of a decision is made, then a lot of times what accompanies that is that is the trigger and then it creates this waterfall of events. And most of the time they're, not most, a lot of times they're chemical like a hormone will change. Uh, you can flip genetics and flip switches on your genes so that things will cascade. Neurotransmitters will fire or misfire incorrectly. So it's all kind of a chemical thing usually. And so it may look like this where every time then in your adult world that somebody yells near you or somebody goes into a, a rageaholic fit, whatever that thing was that you created as a child happens. So let's say in that situation, you create an excess of, of adrenaline. And let's say that adrenaline then starts attacking uh, and filling up in those joints and creating this, this hyper-stress situation in those joints, right? And then the immune system goes, wait a minute, there's something going on in the joints. Go check it out. Go see. And it starts flooding those joints. Now we've got inflammation. We've got the immune system thinking that it's supposed to attack when it's not really and so basically, you just, as an adult, can create then some sort of autoimmune, and it's triggered by the TFE. It's triggered by any time you hear somebody yell at you, or any time maybe you watch the news and you hear about somebody yelling at someone else, or you watch a TV drama. There can be some sort of thought, feeling, and emotion trigger that will cause that waterfall to happen every time that trigger goes off. And the TFE, as you said, is thoughts feelings, and emotions. Mm -hmm. no. Okay, we're going to be uh, plugging into the thoughts, feelings, and emotions that you may be holding on to, and you, as the body channel, I know a lot of people are familiar with your work, but I'd like to kind of share, you go in and you're actually, people's bodies talk to you. I'm going to ask this question kind of silly, but why do they want to talk to you? <laughs> well, they talk all the time. It's just a matter of when, when, when you're driving through an intersection, you may all of a sudden feel happy and then sad and then your knee hurts and then you get a headache and you have all these yeah. things that go on. And it's because people's bodies are throwing out this energy of I'm sad or my knee hurts or I'm in pain or I'm happy. It's kind of a matter of think of yourself as a little bit of a radio, right? And I'm tuning myself to 
whatever um, station your body happens to be talking. That's really the only difference. And so when I'm communicating with yours, yours is a lot of times so happy that somebody is listening because let's face okay. it, a lot of times we don't pay a whole lot of attention to our bodies. We uh, work out longer than maybe we should. We're already hurting a little bit or in pain, but we still keep pushing ourselves. Our bodies are trying to tell us to sit down and relax, and we push ourselves more. We eat foods that our, we know our body doesn't like. Okay, So all these different things happen, and we don't always pay attention. So a lot of times the bodies are just like, oh, my goodness, somebody can hear me. So they just start downloading all kinds of information because they want to get it off their chest as to, can you please help me? Hello and welcome. This is Derry Sparazande, host of the Wealth Revolution. And if you enjoyed that snippet of one of our interviews, I'd invite you to just scroll down for one second and click the link down below. You're going to get access not only to a free gift that's going to double the power of your energy field in just 57 seconds, you're also going to get to be a part of the U.S. Revolution and listen to interviews just like the ones you heard that are happening live right now daily where I interview some of the top healers, teachers, and masters in the field of energy transformation, energy healing, consciousness, ascension, and more. Plus, you're going to get to be on live calls where you'll get your questions answered, you'll get to submit them via webcast, you'll even get to be one-on-one, -on -one, live, on the phone, and get energy healing help daily. It's all part of what we've been doing. So get up to date, click the link, join, and be a part of it. And if you enjoyed this video or you'd like to see more of it, click the like button or subscribe. I always upload new content and I give weekly energy updates. So please let us know how we can serve you. And thanks for watching and being in my life. Much love.